This is another Southernmost Brew Review. We are here in lovely, steamingly humid Key West, Florida, escaping the quarantine. It's 92 degrees and it feels like 106, so I figured let's pull out a beer and a black can. This is Chihuahua Cerveza, or for some of you, Chihuahua. Look at that, it's so long it wraps around the entire can. 6.5% alcohol the original Mexican-American cerveza. And since we are in Florida, the can says Lakeland, Florida, but I did some research and found out that it's actually based in Southern California. Nevertheless, this is the 6.5% Rico. Let's pop the top and see what we got. Time for the liquid to hit the lips. It can definitely taste that 6.5% alcohol. Tastes a lot of malt in it, absolutely no hops whatsoever. I've had quite a few beers that are even stronger than 6.5% and I could not taste the alcohol in it. This has a really strong alcohol taste to it, but in 106 degree heat at 6.5% alcohol, you're not gonna be drinking this all day, all night. <coughs> I hate to use the term craft beer, but it sort of leans to sort of a, a craft beer taste, which is all right. Would I take this over a Modelo? No. Would I take it over a Corona? Mm, not necessarily. Why did I choose this beer? Two reasons. I'd never had it before, never heard of it before, and it was 6.5% alcohol. When you're down here in Key West, Florida, and it feels like 106 degrees, you sweat it out so fast, so you need every little bit you can. So on a scale of one to five, five being a very good brew, where would I put Chihuahua Cerveza Rico? Eh, I gotta put about a... 3.5. If you gave this to me in a blindfolded taste test, I would probably guess it was some type of a Canadian malt liquor. So if you're a fan of Canadian malt liquors, grab yourself a Chihuahua Cerveza Rico. And it's a beautiful day here in Key West, escaping the quarantine, so don't just sit there. Grab a beer. Cheers.